It is one of the longest running food shows on the Food Network. Folks love watching the up and coming chefs beat Bobby Flay, or at least they tried to. He's invited some fellow celebrity chefs to give it a go on his new show, Beat Bobby Flay Holiday Throwdown. And today, Bobby's going to throw down in our kitchen with some chicken parm. Everybody loves yeah. chicken parm. Yeah. Bobby, good to see you, man. Thank How you so you? much. It's so good to be here. Um, it's holiday season. It is. Yeah. Do you, do you cook a big turkey for Thanksgiving? I do. I do. Uh, I, Thanksgiving is my. Um, it's my favorite day of the yeah. year. Actually, I'm going to be here next week. Um, oh, good. Oh, in the yeah, 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 yeah. There's going to be a lot of food in this place. Okay, good. Oh, man. I'll, I'll be back then. I'll okay. be back. So we're going to make chicken parm. This is a dish, obviously, I, I call this chicken parmigiano as opposed to chicken parmesan. It's a little bit cleaner version of, of the classic. And I just put this on my menu uh, in, in Amalfi in okay. Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a couple of things. You look like you're not going to cook. You have your hands oh, in your cooking, pocket. Dude. You want to do this? Oh, I okay. Love, it's okay. chicken parm. So chicken cutlets, okay? This is, yeah. this is classic. So um, flour, eggs, breadcrumbs. And so you set up a dredging station. You season every single... Um, Oh, each part of it? Okay, yes, exactly, because otherwise it's bland. So you go, so the, so the flour <laughs> to the egg. Is that bad? No, no, you're doing no, great. You, no, get just, in there, you right? can tell that Willie cooks. He's, he's, he's in, in there. And then the, and then the eggs hold on to the panko breadcrumbs. Exactly. Ah, oh. And then you let that sit there That's for a second, beauty. and we just Come put on. it in the oil. I'm actually using avocado oil more these days than canola oil. And I mean, they say it's better for you, so I say, okay, why not? Okay, so... Are people laughing at my cooking? I, don't I think know. I'm doing great. I don't know. What are they laughing Get about? Get your hands dirty. Okay, so you want to make yeah, sure just it's your hands. Really. So, so every every culture has their own version of chicken cutlet, right? So we have. Um, <laughs> I've lost them. Thanks for coming. Okay. I'm, with you. I'm with you. Okay, so then we so every every culture has their version of chicken cutlet. Obviously, this is sort of an American Italian version. We're gonna make tomato sauce. Okay. I have three ingredients in my tomato sauce: onions, garlic, and then some and some crushed them. To, crushed tomatoes, and I let this cook for about 45 minutes. How do you, you just, oh, you crush them and with then the potato masher? And, 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 first you let it cook for about 25 minutes so they soften, okay. and then I crush them with a potato okay. masher so that it actually has texture. Yeah. Got and it. then I put like a little sugar. This is very controversial. Some people say don't ever put sugar in your tomatoes, but you know what? If they're acidic, you want a little sugar to yeah, bounce, bounce, bounce it why out. Not? Okay. Okay. So then we have the chicken cutlet, and then I take some buffalo mozzarella, mm, look at that. and I just put it right on top. Look now, at that. now here's the thing that I do. You see, I leave some of the crispy bits uncovered because oh, yeah. we want that good contrast of texture. Crunchy, yeah. Exactly. We put it in the oven. I love this. I love this kitchen. You put it, you put it in this oven, and then it comes out of this it's oven magic. right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here it is. So then we take some of the tomato sauce. And, uh, and instead of dousing it uh, all over the chicken and then ruining that crispiness, I put the tomato sauce on the bottom, and the then, cheese is melted uh, on top, and then see, it's, it's, a, it's a much cleaner so version. Yeah, a little bit of nice. fresh basil and a whole bunch of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Look at that. May yeah. I start, Chef? Yes, yes you can. Sure must. And then some fresh arugula because this is a very healthy dish. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of Just olive, olive oil, oil on top. And there we go. Mm. sneak in here, Bob? Get in there. Let me try. Oh, Bob. Thank you. Is it yummy? Mm, so good. Yeah, I mean, see, here's the thing. The really nice thing about it is you get, wow. obviously, the acidity mm. and the sweetness of the tomatoes. Mm. You get that crispy contrast, the mm -hmm. texture on the chicken, mm. and, of course, that fresh mozzarella. Is, it is feels beautiful. a little light, which you can't always say for a chicken parm. Well, the thing about chicken parm, and you and I sort of share that, that love of chicken parmesan, you know, where it's kind of doused in all that cheese and yeah. tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But this is, a, to me, this is, like a, this is like a Tuesday night version of the Sunday night yeah. meal. There you go. Yeah, exactly. I, um, did I hear you're in a movie? Wait, oh, what? Bobby Flay is in one let, delicious Christmas. Let me tell you wait, something. Come on. So I understand. I, yes, the Oscar you. buzz has been so <laughs> overwhelming. Wait, wait. I mean, <laughs> what are you talking? Who do you play yourself? Is, I play. I play Tom Kingsley, who is a uh, a food critic. Uh, it's called One Delicious Christmas. Um, yes, they wanted me to act. I said don't do it, but they said please do it. So here it is. So when do you see that? And where? Uh, it's coming on uh, November 11th, Discovery Plus. Um, oh, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Discovery exactly. Plus. Oh, yes. Yeah. So cool. Viewing. Everywhere there'll be viewing parties Everyone's all over the place about for it. one delicious Christmas. Bobby, how do you, really, how do you really feel about a food critic, though? I love food life. critics. Okay. Yes, we love food critics. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Make this recipe at home. Go to today.com/slash/food. Thanks, Bobby. Great to see you.